In this video, we're going to go over how to change the status of multiple claims in claim management. Once you open up your claim management, um, as you can see, I have a bunch of different statuses here of certain claims. Um, one of the most, one of the things that you can use, I guess, is going to be the list only. This, this is going to help you filter out what claims you're going to see. So looking at this, I can put in any of these filters to only show me these claims. So if I want to find a certain chart number, um, it's claim created, say I only want to see like my primary claims, uh, insurance care, EDI receiver, and, and even what billing method um, or claim status, all these you can add in here to show only these certain claims. So let's say right now I wanted to see all of my electronic ready to send claims and I only want to see them for primary. I can say, you know, I only want to se select my primary claims where the billing method is electronic and where the status is ready to send. If I hit apply, it's only going to show me those two claims. I can then change those claims um, by clicking on them and changing the status on them. So let me show you how to do that. Because, I mean, obviously you guys are going to probably have a lot more claims in here than I do because this is just a test database. So say I want to change all of these paper claims from paper to electronic. A lot of times what people do is just double click on one, go in and change the status, but there's an easier way to do that. Instead of going one by one, you can click on one and hold control and click on any of the others, highlighting them in blue. You can then right click and do change claim status billing method, and you can change the claims in here. Now, now that's if you have like certain claims that you want to change, like say I only want this claim and then like this claim and this claim. So that's how you can select them, you know, by clicking on them. If you have a big batch of them or a bunch in here that you want to change all at once as well, you can just click on the top claim that you want to change, go down to the bottom, hold shift, and then click. That's going to highlight the claims in between those two clicks. You can then do right click and do change claim status billing method. And say all of these claims, I want to change from a sent status to ready to send, and I want them to be electronic. I'm just going to make sure that this is checked right here. I'm then going to look at the status from. So the status from is what it is at right now. So I know that's in a sent status. I then want to change the status to to ready to send. Right here, the billing method from. I want to change it from paper to electronic. You can also be more specific as well and make it either primary, secondary, tertiary. Um, but for this purpose, I just want to change these ones. So once I have that selected, I just hit OK. And you can see those automatically change to EDI and are ready to send. Um, another thing that you can do is say I want to change all my batch 11s to a certain status. You can even just click on one, right click, do change claim status billing method. And see where all, all ready default to the 11 in there, that's because I have the claim clicked and I right clicked on it. So if I just click here and say batch, this is me saying I want to change batch 11 from any status type, which I can do, because if you look here, they're all sent right now. But say, actually, let me show you. Let's say I come in here and this one's um, an alert and it's electronic. If I go in to change this claim, so because I have that one alert in there, I'm going to want to choose any status type. That means that no matter what status it's at in here, it's going to change the ready to for batch 11. You can also see that it's set for EDI. I can then also come in here and I can say, you know what, and I want to change them all from paper to electronic. So if I hit OK, that will automatically change all of those from paper to electronic and from sent to ready to send for batch 11. Um, but anyway, so that's how you can change these. It's really it can help you a lot manage your claims and can change the status of these and get them sent out um, a lot easier. So if you do have any questions, though, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're more than happy to help out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.